How's it going guys? Rose Hill Farm here. I'm currently working on my 2005 Ford F-150. Uh, I'm doing a differential rebuild. Uh, by that basically all I'm doing is replace my clutch packs. As you can see there's no fiber on there. So I'm doing a rebuild on that and I wanted to uh, well, I'm, I'm not doing a video on how to do it because I felt like there was enough information out there. However, I do want to make a quick note about installing, reinstalling spider gears. Now, I got to the point where I had everything apart. Um, you know, I, I took out my old clutch packs and I installed the new ones. Um, and I do have an 8.8 .8 differential. Uh, it's a limited slip. And it has uh, this this spring, as opposed to the uh, the thrust washers or, or whatever they're called, the thrust things around the uh, the the, uh, the clutch packs, which I think that's more common in a, a 9.75. But anyway, I was having a hell of a time installing my spider gears. As you can see, I still have not gotten them in. And what it ended up being was when I took out my side. Uh, excuse me, I'm not a mechanic, but. Um, the spider gears basically in, in the housing, the carrier housing go are on the top and on the bottom and they kind of rotate. Now the clutch packs go on the gears, uh, that go to the axle for the driver's side and the passenger side. And the way these clutch packs are built, you have fibers and washers, uh, fi fiber plates. Uh, they have the tabs and then you have your, uh, your steel plates and uh, anyway, what ended up happening was when I removed the old ones, I accidentally left an old uh, steel plate or a, uh, a spacer plate inside my carrier housing. So I had my new clutch pack all together, which as it is, that, that's like probably 60 thousandths of an inch thicker or something like that. Uh, you know, whatever. But moral of the story... Make sure you check your axle carrier housing that you remove all your shims and um, fiber plates out of the housing before you install the new one. Otherwise, there's no way in hell you're going to be able to get your new spider gears back on there. So, there it is. Quick little tip. Thanks for watching.